because they couldn't. <laughs> I guess you, you project so, Danny. <laughs> oh, Danny, it's always nice to see you. We go back. Well, we go back. Yeah, to Places in the places Heart. Places in the Heart. It's so. our very first time yes. to meet. Yeah. And we keep running into one another every year or so. Well, it's, it's a pleasure. It's an Thanks. Honor. Thank you. And here you are, Danny, in an entirely different kind of role. But the first thing I have to bring up is that when I read you were playing a 50-year-old, I thought, now wait a minute, Danny, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he may be getting older, but he didn't age uh, 10, 12 years in the last time, since the last time I saw him. Uh, that was um, something that I had to come to grips with, you know, more than anything else in the film. Uh, one of the things, playing older, you know, because we, because of our, we're so vain, you know. I don't, you know. I want to be fifty when I'm fifty, but it's, it, it was no problem after all. You, I had fun with it. I just oh. transposed some of the thoughts of being forty, you know, or approaching forty, and with, uh, and and feeling my body, you know, slightly deteriorating. The knees ache a little bit, and uh, 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 it's fun, funny story. Uh, I had problems with my heel, and I was. Um, uh, taking some naproxen to do that. And I tell you, when I was taking the naproxen to deal with my heel, I was feeling like I was 25 years old, you know, <laughs> mm, 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 ripping and running. Then I uh, um, stopped taking the naproxen because I had some dental surgery done. And it wore off in about, what, seven days, seven to 10 days the naproxen. Boy, everything ached. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that didn't ache before ached, you know, knees, ankles, arms. It was incredible. And then I felt like I was 40 again. <laughs> well, it's funny, but yes, yes, everything aches. Everything aches when you're 40, and it's going to ache a little bit more. Hopefully not as much when I'm 50. This is such a physical picture, Danny. Yes. And um, here you are, you know, cast opposite Mel Gibson, mm -hmm. and uh, what did you have to go through as far as getting into the physicality of the film? Well, we we had a, a really interesting interesting excuse me uh, experience with with that. Uh, we had a very eccentric uh, stunt coordinator, Bobby Bass, and um, we we tried to to do things right uh, in terms of police codes and and. Uh, um, how you handle weapons went through probably what I heard for the first time on Warner Brothers lot uh, people going through uh, actors going through actual training for weapons safety you know so we did all that we did ve a very deliberate precise schedule of not only physically giving us building up our endurance but also teaching us correctly how to use the things we were using, whether they were rifles, guns, or whatever, you know, or speed loaders, all those kind of things, and doing it efficiently and, and with, spe with, with speed in mind. Your first time really to handle weapons very much? Well, except for Silverado, but that was different, you know. I mean, you, there's certain, uh, in films, period, there's always some sort of stretch of imagination, stretch of reality in a sense. Silverado, and westerns because of what they are you stretch them a little bit more but this one was uh, that was a bit different this one was really hard work we would come in uh, come up to a house on the lot you know when they empty houses and decide through just either signaling each other or just looking at each other how we were going to take this house how we were going to proceed and, and, and search this house and uh, it's an exhausting process. I mean, because your, your adrenaline is pumped. You're really pumped and you're really up. And you, you're going and you, you're moving and you're quickly moving. You're reacting to sounds. You're reacting to imaginary sounds. What most of us do as actors, react, react to imaginary stimulus. But we're doing all those things. And it's really, it's really something, you know. And it was physically tiring. We did that for about three hours, three to four hours every day, five days a week for six weeks prior to shooting the film, Mel Gibson and ourselves. And we got to know each other too in that, in that process, you know. Of course, women have one reaction to Mel Gibson. And now here as a man, <laughs> <laughs> as a man, I, I want a male point of view about Mel Gibson. Well, you know, I, the, things, the things that, uh, I mean, so certainly uh, uh, women think, and rightfully so, that he's incredibly handsome. 
and what I, what the word I hear all the time that he tries to run away from, and he does this and really tries to run away from it, is being sexy and all that. But, but also the other things that we both would have, uh, women and men would have, in terms that he's vulnerable, he's accessible, and uh, uh, very special as an actor and a performer. Uh, and uh, he's, uh, he's, he gives as an actor and performer. She's always giving, uh, really, a pleasure, and a really simply a pleasure, uh, unpretentious, and really a pleasure. You know. Danny, if we can skip over to the upcoming Academy Awards, do you have any thoughts about who might be a front runner in the supporting races? Uh, let's see. Who, who, you know, I don't really know. Um, I know that that uh, um, Dexter Gordon is nominated for Best Actor and. and in Round About Midnight, and uh, he should get that. He was incredible. Uh, supporting, uh, um, I like uh, uh, both the guys from Platoon, especially, I like William Defoe yeah, uh, a bit, but both Tom Berenger, both of those guys I like. Uh, I can't remember who else is there. What about the women? Diane Weist is one. Oh! Yes. You see, I, I don't know, but I, I'm a big Diane Weiss fan. <laughs> I'm a big Diane Weiss fan, so, um, and I like her a lot, so oh, yes. But I don't know, really. I, I hadn't really followed that much. I knew off the top of the head some of the, some of the things, some of the people, but, but not a great deal. Well, Danny, it's good to see you again. The time goes all too fast. All too fast. Yes, but uh, congratulations. When I, think I, this when movie... I get down to Dallas, we have to do all a right. live show. Okay? All right. You're on for that. Yeah, okay. We have to do when I come down to Dallas. Again. <laughs> okay. Good okay. to see you, Danny. Take care. Thank I shall. You. you do the same. All right. It's good. Boy, are we. Thanks, Danny. I